Listen, in the UK, you get quite a lot of different Asians. You get the Hadikas. Miss, can I just tell her? I'm sorry to hear that your grandma passed away. I actually am like, obviously I'm going to be, be upset about that, yeah? And Hadika, you know, the only thing is, no one can force me to be a man or anything, yeah? And I don't want to be mates with you, all right? What? You get the Rang and Athens. Morning, Abdullah. Hi, Ramesh. So, what are the options are you doing? I'm doing maths, birth, maths, history and economics. Brilliant! <laughs> and you even get the little Asian Neymars that just love football. Right, I'm going to show you what I get now. Arsenal, I get ex-hacker. Bruh. I get niggas. Bruh. And there's plenty more, but in this video, we're going to have a look at the typical Asian boys that you most likely see in East London and what makes them so unique. And if there's any things watching this with a bit of akal, yeah, with a bit of sense, then you should uh, see this video as a bit of a guide as, you know, what boys to avoid. So, um, without further ado, let's get into this. Okay, so a very popular theme is in all these typical Asian boys is that they all tend to perm slash highlight their hair and before you say it, no, this is not permed. Let me just back out a couple case studies to back my point. Firstly, we got Coombs. Back in his prime YouTube days, he used to have straight hair but now he switched up and joined the curly hair gang. And then you got the Khan twins. Now, all I can say about the Khan twins is they were definitely not born with blonde hair. In fact, I don't know any Asians that are born with blonde hair. But anyways, there seems to be a consistency with Asian boys perming or highlighting their hair so if you ever see Asian boy with hair permed or, you know, highlighted, then uh, yeah, be wary. Another thing these guys do is shisha every day. Now, it's lockdown. You must be thinking like, how are they even going to get their hands on shisha in the first place? Well, let me just tell you something. When there's a will, there's a way. Nowadays, there's lounges where you can park a car outside the place and they'll bring the shisha to your whip. So if you really are catting for shisha that much, if you really are that guy that just cats for shisha or girl, there's plenty of girls that cat for shisha, then you can still get your hands on some shisha. I know it's lockdown, yeah, but bruv, these places are usually owned by like Asians or Turkish people, whatever. These men don't care about no lockdown, yeah. You can get your hands on it if you really want to. And let's not forget, you can always just buy your own shisha, smoke up in your own yard. And these guys, whenever they smoke shisha, they always film themselves doing it. I mean, if you didn't snap yourself doing it, did you really do it? Pause. If you're enjoying this video and you haven't liked or subscribed, what are you doing, mate? Please like, subscribe, all of them things there. Yeah, back to the video. Now, the third thing, this one's quite funny because you can actually learn something from this. But it's still true about Asians, specifically Muslims. They always post the same clip on Snapchat of Dawa man giving a powerful reminder to the streets. Stabbing a man off of what? Because he's from a different postcode! You don't own the streets! There's a white guy that owns the streets! You pay tax on the streets! You pay council tax! Are you mad? You don't own the streets! <laughs> and even though bad Muslims post this on their story, I mean it still is true. True say he's screaming a bit Brothers, too much. Brothers, pay attention and look at me. Don't talk to each other. Look at me. You shut your mouth. Don't talk loud over the steep. Is <laughs> he gone? Yeah? Okay. Um, anyways, as I was saying, yeah. He's just a passionate guy, so that's why his videos can, you know, seem to be a bit intense sometimes. But listen, yeah, aspiring road men, you don't own the streets, yeah? A white man owns the streets. You don't own the streets! Alright, anyways, on to the next point. Answer this question for me. Why does every Asian drive like a bargalow? I think it's instilled in these man's blood to drive like madmen. I don't know what it is, but they all just do. And maybe I'm a fake Asian because I don't drive super crazy. Okay, maybe sometimes I do in it, but still, I'm not as bad as this guy, yeah? And they always snap themselves whilst doing it. Like, why are you slapping it? Is it proof? Proof to the madam that you can drive. The only proof that is to show the feds when you get arrested, fam, for driving while snapping. Anyways, yeah, these Ronnie Pickerings love their whips. And let me just give you another warning. If you ever see a guy with petrol head in his bio, yeah, just just know I warned you in it. I warned you. Okay, now another iconic feature of the typical East London Asian boy is when it comes to gyal. They move all of them. Anything with a pulse really, it's actually quite uh, disturbing. Majority of the time though, these guys, they don't actually chat to any girls, they just give them the stare. <laughs> I think maybe they just assume that they've got some magical Asian blood that allows them to pull any girl just by staring at them. This ain't a Bollywood movie, mate. I've heard on Twitter once that this one guy kept walking past this same shop because he saw a girl working inside. And I'm guessing by walking past multiple times, he was expecting her to think, Oh my god, is that the Hamza that works in JD Sports and Tuning? He's so beautiful, mashallah. Yeah, bro, that is not what she's thinking, yeah. More times she's probably thinking, like, why does Harami walking past my shop so many times? Let me call security. And speaking about Haramis, that brings me to my final point of the video. They must listen to Friends of Harami. And if you don't know who Friends of Harami is, then you're lucky. <laughs> 
His music is brazy, yeah? I would not recommend any good Muslim people to listen to that. Fredzal Harami is what most East London Asian boys see as their inspiration. He's their role model. And if you want to learn a little bit more about Fredzal Harami, then I recommend you turn on post notifications and stay tuned for my next video because you're about to learn a lot. But anyways guys, that's just a few tips of what most Asian boys in East London are like. Um, tell me if you agree and tell me if I missed anything as well. But as always, like if you enjoyed the video, subscribe if you're new, comment something interesting and I will see you guys in the next video in a bit. Peace.